Welcome to Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Title Town, some call it, a moniker that many claim, but this city lives thanks to the Alabama Crimson Tide. Today, two teams collide in an old-fashioned SEC showdown. As we'll see, the South Carolina Gamecocks taking on the second-ranked team in the land, the Alabama Crimson Tide. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. Alabama about to kick off to get this game underway. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. So the South Carolina Gamecocks offense takes the field for the first time today. And this big fella can beat you in a number of different ways in the passing game, David. Yes, yeah, so much fun to have a guy that I can rely on that can beat guys over the middle of the field, that can beat man-to-man -man coverage. This guy's the ultimate weapon. And I love that this guy has an awesome catch radius. You don't have to be perfect as a quarterback when you throw to him. He can make you look good. Used to play fake, now to throw. And he can't escape, and down he goes. And if you turned on the tape last week, you're getting more of the same in the first quarter. This defense last week harassing the QB with six sacks, now getting out the gates in the first quarter and getting their first one. This crowd trying to make life miserable for this offense. They go to the ground. And a really short game before he gets a whole bunch of company from the defense. This is a third and long. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Trying to make magic with his feet. When you got third and this long, everybody knows what's coming. It's going to be a pass. Defense alignment get to tee off. They know exactly what's coming. Go get the quarterback. It is your dream. That is what you live for. It's what you practice in the offseason for. I want sacks just like that. And the Gamecocks decide to punt it away. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. First one is away, and boy, did he put in work in that loss last week, kicking it five times. He'll call for the fair catch here. So the Alabama Crimson Tide offense comes out for their first possession of the game. And they seem to believe that they can take big plays away and man coverage by just locking him up in this matchup, David. Yeah, and it's hard to lock down a great wide receiver, but a great defensive back versus a great wide receiver, we got a showdown. Yeah, let's be honest, David. Most defenses don't have a dude like that at cornerback that could do that in a game like this. But this matchup is unique, and it's going to really determine the outcome of the game. Leaves it with the back. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Somebody needs to make a play here. It's third and long from the 26. Looking to throw, it's Milrow. Fires to the middle. What a snag by the defense. He was trying to get that return going instead. He'll hand it to his offense at the 38. Not the start this kid was looking for. Very first pass of the day gets picked off. This is a defense that's got a lot of ball hawks on the back end, and he's got to be real careful with his eyes, not telegraph throws like he did right there. He's going to have to settle in. South Carolina ready to go on the attack in another offensive odyssey. After a punt on their last possession, they are set up in plus territory this time. And honestly, it wouldn't have mattered if they scored a touchdown in their last possession. You've got to be able to turn the page and see this is a brand new opportunity to go get points. Yeah, and your defense has set you up for the position to get points right away. Now, let's get this offense back rolling again, create some momentum, just get a few first downs and I'm in scoring position. He makes the tackle at the 23-yard line, but not before a pickup of five and another for the first down. Oh, it's a reverse. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. The Gamecocks come to the line in the hurry-up. 
Guys, this rough start is hardly what they had in mind to start SEC play, and it's not going to get any easier. Well, no doubt about it. There were big expectations surrounding this program inside SEC play this year, and things haven't necessarily gone their way. They've had to fight a ton of adversity, but David, they believe they have the leadership in the locker room to turn it around, but it's got to start today. Yeah, one at a time. Like, we got to start today. we got to find something. we got to find what we're really good at, what we can hang our hat on so we can start to build some momentum throughout the season. Obviously, not the start we wanted, but we got to point to the next opportunity. They'll have to settle for a field goal attempt. And this one only 35 yards out, but not straight away. This one from the left hash. It is good! And that'll put the first points of the game on the board. It's 3 to nothing. So they're lining up to kick it off after that last drive. Put a three spot on the board, and now the defense will try to shut them down. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The tied offense rolls onto the field. Boy, they hope this next drive is more productive after throwing a pick last time, Jesse. Yeah, and the coaches did a good job on the sideline there, just talking to the young quarterback and making sure he's able to turn the page, calm him down, to go out and refocus this drive. Yeah, and some people do that better than others, but you got to show some trust in him, maybe get the ground game going, help around him a little bit with this system. So they're facing third and short from the 25. Back to throw, it's Milro. Got rid of it quickly, but it's incomplete. The Crimson Tide will bring the punt team on the field. First one of the day is off. He was called on three times in that victory last week. And the punt team able to swing him to the ground. They'll get things started on this drive from the 24. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Got it in the middle. It's Brown. And an explosive play has him on the move, and he gets it all the way to the 48-yard line. Hey, nice job by the offense there, attacking the middle of the field. Excellent route, finding the soft spot in the defense. Nice job by the quarterback, putting it right on his guy. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. No huddle offense to the line. Yeah, and this off, man, you got to do a better job blocking. And I tell you what, that's a kind of been a theme throughout the season. They haven't been high-powered. They haven't really figured out who they are yet. And they still got time. The season's not over yet. But this offense is still in identity mode. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Quarterback extends the play. They are on the move down to the 32, and they pick up another first down. And the Gamecocks in the hurry up. That's so frustrating. I, I got you in the perfect situation. I get you in third and long, more predictable. I know it's going to be a pass. And then Houdini pulls the rabbit out of the hat, makes something happen, scrambles around, gets the first down. Goodness gracious, this guy is so good. He's there to make the stop, but not before. He sets up this offense first and goal from the seven. They'll try to get it in with the run. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. Now on second and goal. Tries again to get it in. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. So loud it's rattling your fillings on third and goal. They'll try to blast their way in. And he's able to shed one tackle, but still, just a very short game. So the offense will try to punch it in here on fourth and goal from the one. Powers forward. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Gamecocks. Well, they didn't overthink that one. Fourth and goal down close like that. You just turn around, David, hand it off to the big fella, and let him do the rest. And a lot of times in these situations, fourth down and goal, you see quarterback sneak so much. They trust the big running back. They know he's going to drive his feet forward, finish the run, and get the touchdown. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. 
Looking for a crease. It's Young. Defense there to stop him after a gain of one to the 22. He didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Leaves it with the back. Stacked up after gaining a couple to the 23. A third down try for the offense. That's the end of the quarter, and South Carolina has the lead. They largely dominated this first quarter as indicated by the stats. We've got this third down play to open the quarter. Looking to throw, it's Milrow. They're bringing heat. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. The defense coming up big there, and the sack is great, but the secondary deserves some credit, too. No doubt. When you can cover like that in the secondary and drop back in your zone and only rush a few, and you feel comfortable getting home, and they're going to get to the quarterback, that is a great feeling, and it's fun to be defensive coordinator calling the plays. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Let's see what he can do with it. Working his way on the return up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. And the South Carolina offense is back on the field. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make because they got to stop the bleeding right now. The Gamecocks will hustle to the line. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. They were all over him. Nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. Solid punt headed toward the sideline, trying to make it tough to return. So guys, we'll see this offense again. Here's the handoff. And a nine-yard gain on first down leaves him with second and short. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. Now on first down from the 30. Grab behind the line, it's Bernard. Makes a grab and he's dragged down. After a good pickup on the run, it's second down. They'll give it to the back. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Coming to the line of scrimmage on third down. They'll stick to the ground looking for the marker. Tackled after picking up the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They're going to go right back to him on first down. And they'll bring him down after a short pickup. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Trying to seal the edge on the right. Still on his feet at the 45. Make the stop at the 40, but he's got 15 yards on that one and a first down. The give to the tailback. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost yardage on that last one. It's second and 11. Trying to surprise him with the pass. And the pass is incomplete. Jarred loose by the hit. Ninth play of the drive coming up, but this one will be tough. Third and long. To the air. It's Milrow. And they'll miss the connection here on third down. And they'll pat the kicker on the tail and tell him to go give it a shot. He says he can kick one from 75, but here he's going to need just 58 of them. He nails it. A 58-yard field goal. Well, that kid just showed off his hammer for a leg. 50-plus, and he did it with ease. On the run from inside his own five. 
Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. South Carolina ready to go on the attack in another offensive odyssey. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. Yeah, and there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together. And the Gamecocks moving quickly to the line. And listen, you get zone coverage, and you can hit that curl route, and he comes open continually. Keep hitting it. This might be a play to come back to. And that ball is live in the backfield. Defense coming up with a huge fumble recovery. I'll tell you, honestly, I don't know what that player could have done to hold on to that football. That defender absolutely popped him. He knocked him into next week. There was no chance he was holding on to that ball. Here comes that Alabama offense. You want to talk about having a weapon to bail out a drive? David, that's why kickers are so important after that long field goal. Yeah, and listen, important is a relative term. And the freshman will chalk up a sack. And that's not how you want to start a drive. On the very first play, you give up a sack and you lose a ton of yards. Quarterback, you've got to know, just throw the ball away, know when the play is over. Back to throw, it's Milrow. And the catch along the sideline will come up a little short of the first down. Third play of the drive, and they need to make something happen here on third and long. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. Always a welcome play for the defense as they get a sack at the 47. But for this defense, finally, you're seeing pressure on the quarterback. They're outside the top 50 in sacks per game. They've been waiting to find some more consistent pressure to help them win games, and they're getting it in this game now. Three sacks on the day. They're just simply winning and doing a better job executing up front the point of attack. They're going to open this drive with a pass. Quick completion on the out route. And that's where they'll mark him, but a very productive play, and they'll move the chains. Comes out throwing on first down. Catch in the middle, it's Simon. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. The offense will stop the clock and use one of its timeouts. They'll throw it on first down. He's got his man. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. He's going to pass. Fires into traffic, picked off. Got some room to run. He's inside the 40. At the 20. And he's going to take it all the way. Touchdown time. This time, it's the defense finding ways to put points on the board. There is nothing better than being a defender. Seeing that ball in the end zone, your eyes get big as saucers. Go jump on that puppy, secure it, get you a touchdown. They got the late touchdown on the board, now about to kick it away and hoping the defense can keep them from answering. He'll start the return inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. And the South Carolina offense is back on the field. This possession will be a test after squandering that long drive, throwing a pick six, Jesse. You're right, Reese. Well, I think this is really dependent, too, on the leaders in this huddle right now to step up and help this offense get back on pace here on this drive. Yeah, and this defense is frothing at the mouth. They're excited. They're jacked up. They just made a big play. They got all the momentum, so they're ready to hunt. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime. In Tuscaloosa. The Gamecocks will kick it away to crank up the second half. Here's the return from inside his tent. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic than they get him on the ground at the 20. They'll snap it from the 20 for the opening play of this drive. They'll open the second half with a run. Found a little bit of running room, knocked down at the 24 after a pickup of four. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Try to get the edge with a quick touch pass. 
Moves up to the 34-yard line, give him a 10-yard pickup. Lining up from the 34 on first down. They'll try the run. Good pickup on the ground, and they'll mark him down at the 39. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. The quarterback flips it ahead quickly to the receiver. He's off to the races. What a play to get it inside the red zone, and they are set up at the 17. And you see so many of these plays now in today's football. Wide receiver coming in motion, and the quarterback catches it, just flips it forward. That's a completed pass. Uh, you see the big plays where it just lets him get on the edge really, really quickly. And if he drops the football coming in motion, it's just an incomplete pass. So these plays are getting big plays with really no risk. Defense there to stop him after a pickup of two down to the 15. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Looking for a man. It's Milrow. Let's it go to the end zone. Touchdown, Alabama! And with that one, they jump on top here in the second half. Wow, what a play. We got, we're going to need to see that again to make sure he makes this catch and gets the foot in bounds. That was a great acrobatic play, understanding where you're at on the field to make that big catch. Getting set for the point the after. Is on for the extra point. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Conley. He, this has not been a blowout in South Bend today. They're up by 10 over Stanford. Just another week of college football where we've come to expect the unexpected, fellas. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. They'll throw again after the incompletion. Escapes the sack. Able to get just a few before sliding to avoid the hits. And the Gamecocks want to crank the tempo. He's going to look for a man on third and short. Caught near the sideline, it's Simon. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. I think a big part of this for young quarterbacks out there is if you're going to be throwing into zone coverage, you've got to throw on time. You can't stare down receivers because the entire defense has their eyes on you, so you can't telegraph where the ball's going. You've got to hold it to the very last possible second, try to freeze defenders with your eyes, and then throw the ball into open areas of the field, anticipating where your guy's going to be. On third and long, you'll need to push it downfield. And they can't hook up on the big play, and that brings up a fourth down. The Gamecocks will line up to punt it away. He'll try to really get into this one. He will signal for the fair catch and take it just inside the 35. The tied offense rolls onto the field. That last touchdown drive was surgical through the air, Jesse. It sure was, and that's why this offense is so dangerous, David, because they can score in a hurry because of how efficient they are throwing the football. And welcome to modern college football. That's what it is. Spread you out, find my playmakers, make quick decisions, and really put defenses in a difficult situation. Second down coming up. They'll run play action. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. Oftentimes with play action, you're asking the quarterback to hold on to the ball a bit longer, and you're asking this offensive line to hold up and pass pro a bit longer. Against this athletic front seven on defense, it's going to be tough. Now facing a third and long. He's looking downfield to throw. He's got it. And he's to the 48-yard line. That'll be good enough for a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Give to the back. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. 
Running back goes in motion. Caught in the backfield, it's Young. Didn't pick up a lot there, moved it forward just a few. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. He's looking to throw. Gets it out quickly. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. And here comes play number six of the drive. The give on the inside. Dropped after a pickup of three down to the 26. Got three on first down at second and seven. Dropping back, it's Milrow. Takes the easy completion. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. So Alabama takes the lead into the quarter break. And as we switch ends of the, from the field after the break, and we'll start the quarter here on third down. Looking for room, it's Young. And the defense knew exactly where that first down line was, and they stopped him short. And now on fourth down, they will put it on the shoulders of the kicker to save them with his foot. Right down the boulevard, it's good. And they'll push that lead out a little further. You know, it's funny, in an age when there's so many college football analytics and everybody wants to go for it on fourth down, at the end of the day, it still comes down to managing. Good decision by the head coach here in the fourth quarter. By kicking that field goal, you've now made it a two-possession game. Your chances of winning this thing have now gone way up. Here he comes from inside his own five. And the coverage team able to wrestle him down. South Carolina ready to go on the attack in another offensive odyssey. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. Don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board. Right on the money to the outside. He dragged the toe, and how about the ball placement? Only the receiver could get it. This is the moment for this offense to put a drive together. It doesn't matter what's happened up to the point of this game, but you're trailing right now. You've got to put some points up on the board. This is where all 11 guys need to be playing together as one. Yeah, and this offense has to find a way to run the football. And they got to get more creative or whatever that looks like for this offense, something to jumpstart them because nothing really going on the ground. Yeah, defensively, though, you got to give them credit, too, because they knew that physically they were going to try to be challenged up front. That was a big M.O. for this offense coming into it. But the defense, they've risen to the occasion. Their front seven has dominated this entire game. That's caught. It's Sanders. Listen, I know this running back is shifty. I know he's really good in the open field, but that's just asking too much of him at this point. Third and long situation. He wasn't going to be able to make that extra guy miss uh, trying to get that first down. Going to try to get it himself. He is stopped short, and they'll turn it over on downs. Just a crushing blow at this point in the game. Looking for space. It's Young. And a good, solid pickup for the defense cuts him down. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. The jet sweep pass. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Using the quick game. Really nice job to convert that third down, and they've got it at the 33. Alabama comes to the line with first and 10. The give to the back. After the pickup of nine, it's second and one. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. Off the bootleg, wants to toss it. Unleashes one deep. And he's got it! Touchdown, Bama! With that, they are closing in on bowl eligibility, but with this big lead and a 6-0 start, much bigger dreams for this squad. 
Really nice job working the route and getting himself open. He was able to locate the football, snag it out of the air, and this guy now has five receiving touchdowns on the year. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Back to throw, it's Sellers. And the quarterback caught up two and sacked at the 12. That defender is a matchup nightmare for any offensive lineman to block. He's got athleticism, he's got length, he's got flexibility. He put it all on display on that sack. So they'll try to salvage this drive on second and long from the 12. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. And he got a hand in there, knocks it away incomplete. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. And the quarterback goes down all the way back at his four-yard line. Given up three sacks a week ago. Now you've already given up four sacks. They gotta find a way to protect their quarterback. Give him a little bit more time. Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. And it's incomplete, and the defense stands tall and gets off the field. Sometimes just punt the ball. Now this offense set up with a first. Fires and picked off. The 50. He's at the 40. Pass the 20. Touchdown, South Carolina. And this defense coming up with points of their own. What an interception return. And this defense has had a rough day, but how about this play? Breaking on the football, making the pick, taking it to the house, and build some momentum for some future games. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Boys, if it's happening in college football, we've got eyes on it. Check this out. Wake Forest is currently trailing in this one, but it feels like the tide may be turning. This program has picked itself up before, and it's capable of it again today. It's just a field goal game. They're trailing by three to Clemson. Just another week of college football where we've come to expect the unexpected, fellas. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. They're setting up the screen. Not able to break the big one on that screen to the running back, but he found enough and a solid pickup on first down. Well, a nice gainer on that running back screen. How about the offensive line getting downfield and getting blocks? To really help out the back, find some space to go to work. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. Well, down two possessions. Good news is you get the completion. Bad news, though, did not get out of bounds. You know right now, saving the clock, that is at a premium for this offense. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Back to the air one more time. And he's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Gamecocks. Oh, Uncle Mo has changed sidelines. Look out, brother. Here's what happens, right? Something happens. Get you close in the ball game. The defense needs to come out here, get a stop, get that ball back to the offense. Oh, Uncle Mo on your side. <laughs> After taking another look just to confirm everything, the officials on the field got it right. Play will stand. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it out. It's Hamilton. Not nearly as much as he had hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. Here comes that Alabama offense. On the ground, trying to pull the plug on this clock. Building momentum, picking up a chunk of yardage, moving the chains out to the 34. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. We have arrived at the two-minute warning, a one-possession game as this offense tries to hold on. They're going to ride this running back. He's finally brought down, but that freshman found some running room. Defense uses a timeout quickly trying to get
set that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Miller with the ball. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? Calling a timeout here, you have to avoid making a mistake in this situation. Now on the option. Oh, there's a loose football on the bad pitch. Now the defense has got it, and they're going the other way. He's loose down the left side. And in for the score. What a turn as they take the lead. What a shift in momentum. What a big-time play. He just took matters into his own hands. And what a mistake by the QB throwing the football. His receiver, obviously, they were on the same page at all. But the defender steps in front, makes the big play. And then every kid's dream, right? You play defense, you create the turnover, and then you take it all the way to the end zone. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Dropping back, it's Milrow. Steps away. Trying to escape and get it himself. All kinds of running room. The offense gets a quick timeout at this point. Every second is precious. He's looking to throw it. Quick strike complete. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. And here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. He's got an open man. And he's brought down after a nice game. It's a first down. They'll stop the clock to reset the chains. Offense up tempo. He wants to throw. Using his legs to buy some time. Across the 25, he's got room. And he's chased out of bounds, but not before he gets the first down. Stops the clock and has them on the move trying to get the late score. From the gun, running back gets the give. You know, as a defense, you kind of want to force the give on the RPO. You want them to run the football, and you can tell. Maybe the quarterback wishes he pulled this. Small gain, but some information you gather, maybe for the next time you can. Touchdown, Crimson Tide! And in the final moment, they've taken the lead! Man, I love this offense, being able to run the football late in the game when it matters and punch it in for the touchdown, and more importantly, take the lead. He's got it, and the lead is up to a field goal. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And he takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. And the South Carolina offense is back on the field. He'll start this drive firing. Coming after him. He'll pull it down and run. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. And they'll spike the ball to try to save as much time as they can. No time to waste here. They've got to get set and pick up chunk yardage. On third down, he drops the throw. And he's going to be stopped just short of the first down. He tried to get it on his own. Trailing by a possession, they need to keep the ball. They'll try to convert on fourth down. Desperate to convert, and he'll throw it. And he sacked a big play on fourth down to stop this drive. Well, that play never had a chance on fourth down. They're trying to catch the defense off guard, thrown for it, but no protection. Quarterback didn't have an opportunity to step up and get rid of that football. Give the defense credit, man. Tremendous aggression there on fourth. Seven is the lucky and skilled number for this squad as they've made it to this point in the season, and they are still perfect. Still perfect, and they're cooking. You can tell they got some momentum. You know, seven weeks, obviously, that does, that's not the whole season. You got bigger fish to fry down the road. Great start, but you can tell this team's for real, for real. No doubt, and they deserve for us all to be talking about them right now because they look as advertised. This is a team with tremendous talent. They've taken care of business up to this point, but now because they're undefeated at this point of the year, every game from this point out gets bigger and bigger and more important. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.